talk about resolutions, obviously, because it is January. It's kind of the time to do this. But you can have resolutions throughout the year. We can set goals, achieve those goals, set new goals, um, and just kind of progress throughout the year. It's something that we can constantly be looking at. So let's look at this. History of resolutions. How did we even think about making New Year's resolutions? About 4,000 years ago, the Babylonians made promises to their gods to pay back all their debts. Not really what we do. But then similarly, ancient Romans offered sacrifices and made promises of good conduct for the coming year. We're getting closer. Um, then early Christians, the first day of the new year, became the traditional occasion for thinking about one's past mistakes and resolving to do and be better in the future. And then today, instead of making promises to gods, most people make resolutions only to themselves and focus purely on self-improvement. Starting to sound a little more familiar. So a resolution is a firm decision to do or not do something, right? We're gonna make a goal to either better ourselves by doing something or better ourselves by not doing something, quitting smoking, quitting something. But a New Year's resolution is a promise a person makes for the new year. Regardless of what resolution you commit to, the goal is to improve life in the coming year. So great topic to talk about being January, correct? Correct. All right, researchers say that about 60% of us make New Year's resolutions, but only about 8% actually are successful in achieving them. Wah, wah, wah. Like a bummer, right? How many of you made New Year's resolutions? Kept them all? No, it's tough. So why do we fail at that? Things that can cause us to fail would be going at it alone, making lofty or unrealistic resolutions, giving up too easily, time management, we all try to spread ourselves way too thin, and the biggest thing is really not having a plan. You know, thinking you wanna do something. I graduated from college and said, I wanna run a marathon. I didn't do it for a really long time because I just kept saying, I wanna run a marathon, I wanna run a marathon, never came up with a plan. So you can talk about your goals but let's come up with a plan as to how we're going to achieve them. <clears throat> Go ahead. <coughs> Sorry. Failure is only the opportunity to begin again, only this time more wisely. We learn from our mistakes. So we are going to be more successful at achieving our goals. So why make a resolution or set a goal if only 8% are actually successful? Well, setting resolutions gives you long-term vision and short-term motivation. This is all really very, very familiar for what your journey is with your bariatric weight loss surgery, correct? It all ties together, but this is why you want to make some goals. You want to make some resolutions. So it can help you focus and organize your time and resources so that you can make the most of your life. That's why we're here. That's why we're put on earth to make the most of our life. So what do you want to do or achieve? I want you guys to think about that and we're going to go through steps as to how we can be successful in making goals and then actually achieving those goals because we're going to learn from our failure and we are going to be successful so i'm going to give an example as i go through this that i actually did make one new year's resolution that i actually then achieved and accomplished so we're going to go through here because i didn't realize this because this was several years ago but i went through all these different steps. So set goals that motivate you. So my New Year's resolution was I, I like to run. I like to run two or three miles. I hadn't done a longer run in several years and it was New Year's Eve and I was with some friends that like to run as well and I said I want to run a half marathon this year because it makes me then push myself and get out of my, my happy little box and do something. So that motivates me to do more. So you got to make sure that the goal is important to you and you see value in achieving it. Why make goals if it's not really anything important to you, right? Motivation is the key to achieving goals. So make SMART goals, and SMART is an acronym for specific. You got to be really specific. You can't be too general or else you don't really know when you've accomplished that goal. Be measurable, so include precise amounts, dates. 
So obviously running a half marathon, I had the date that I was gonna run it. I knew how long that was. It was gonna be 13.1 miles and it's achievable. So I had run one before, it just had been several years. So I knew that I probably could do that. If you've never been a runner before or never even walked more than three miles, don't make your goal to run a marathon, right? Probably not achievable, but you can make a goal of running or walking a 5K or doing something like that. That would be much more achievable. So relevant, they should align with what you want to accomplish. I wanted to push myself, I wanted to get healthier. And then time-based, it must have a deadline so that you know that you can't put it off. You know, if you've got a deadline, you're gonna to work towards something so that you can accomplish that. So set goals in writing. You know, we just think about them. We can think about them all we want, but as soon as we write them down, we're gonna start being accountable and being more, um, try a little bit harder. So the physical act of writing down a goal makes it real and tangible. Make an action plan and get support. Probably the most important step here. So don't get too focused on the outcome that you forget to plan all the steps that are needed along the way. So if I said I wanted to run a half marathon but never thought about how I was gonna get there, I was never gonna get there. You know, I can't just walk outside and go run 13 miles without coming up with a plan. Some people might be able to do that, but I cannot do that. So arrange your environment for success. If certain aspects of your environment are hindering your progress, change them. You know, I what I did, so changing my environment, I was very busy after work. I was not gonna run at five o'clock at night. That was when I was gonna make dinner, take care of my family. So I decided to start getting up early in the morning, getting my run in. I didn't have any excuses. I, I changed my environment. So chart your progress, make lists. I'm a list person, I like to cross things off. Make a calendar, certain dates that you want to do things. Research a plan, get support, and join a group. Everybody can help you when you're, you're making goals. So here we are. Yep, that's me. I posted that picture New Year's Day at like 12.01, talking with my friend. We wanted to run a half marathon, got our phones out, researched which one we wanted to do, paid my $70, no going back for me. So yeah, that says signed up for the first half of the year. I then figured out which plan I was gonna do and marked it on my own calendar so I knew exactly what I was gonna be doing every day. So, you gotta stick with it. Goal setting is an ongoing activity. Build in reminders. So I always put my calendar on my refrigerator. You walk by it, you see it, it reminds me that I have to do something. All right, it helps you keep on track. But celebrate your successes and be compassionate with yourself. That means if you're not quite getting there that day, don't be too hard on yourself. We always have tomorrow to start over, right? So there were several days I didn't feel like running, maybe I had a cold or something. I didn't do what I was supposed to do that day, but I got up the next day, put my shoes on, figured it out, I didn't give up. You know, you just gotta keep looking forward, don't give up. So put yourself in charge. Nobody's gonna accomplish your goals but you. So make yourself accountable, share your goals with your friends and family, they can help you, they can support you. You know, by, by writing it down, by posting it maybe on social media, you're telling a lot of people you're going to do something and then you've got a lot of people asking you making sure that you stay accountable but also giving you support maybe telling you stories helping you maybe doing some goals with you so other people can advise and support you but it'll only be your actions that accomplish your goals and obviously take responsibility for your future set your goals for something that you want to do to help you be a better person a healthier person something that you want to better in your life so I thought this was kind of cute. A recipe for success, heat up an idea, take action, mix it up with desire and belief. You have to believe that you can do whatever your goal is that you're setting out to do, and then add a dash of persistence. And then voila, we finished our race. He shaved too, but we finished our race. So that was pretty exciting. And then you have to celebrate that. Okay, so we're gonna kind of go back here and look at why we would have failed going at it alone. So how can we succeed? We're gonna tell others, get support, maybe join a group. 
By not having lofty or unrealistic resolutions, we're going to set realistic and attainable goals. We're not going to have our eyes be bigger than our stomach, right? We're not going to give up too easily. We're going to review our goals frequently, be compassionate with ourselves, and stay motivated. And then we're going to be much better with time management by making a list, <coughs> by setting up a schedule, <coughs> making a calendar. And we're obviously going to have a plan. We're going to make a plan with bite-sized chunks to achieve that whole goal so that you can get there much, much quicker and easier. So I looked up what the top five resolutions for 2019 were. 71% of people wanted to diet or eat healthier. 65% of people wanted to exercise more. 54% of people wanted to lose weight. 32% of people wanted to save more and spend less money. And 26% of people learn a new skill, wanted to learn a new skill or hobby. So it looks obviously one through three, looks very familiar with what your weight loss journey is. Right, you've already committed to doing those first three things. Does that mean that we can't have those resolutions for 2019? No, we absolutely can. So, but your diet or eating healthier might look a little bit different. Might be getting back on track. If you had a tough time over the holidays, you might make a resolution to get back on track. And what, what's that gonna look like? Maybe logging your food, maybe putting everything into the Veritastic app, maybe making an appointment with Laura or the nurse practitioner, something like that, and, and coming up with a plan to see what where you were off track and coming back on track. Um, or meal plan and prep. Maybe make the goal of five times a week, you are going to have those meals all planned out. Or on Sundays, every Sunday, you're gonna meal plan. Um, I like this one, try a new recipe each week and do your research, plan it out, write it down, um, or maybe being more organic would all be kind of some diet or eating healthier goals. Um, so exercise more. You guys are already increasing your activity. So think of some certain goals to make it more exciting for you. Maybe signing up for a 5K. FYI, we are going to be having one here on May 5th. That could be your goal. Um, or trying a new exercise, maybe trying to do yoga, trying to join a dance class or go to the gym, weightlifting, anything kind of fun, trying something new. And then lose weight. Most of you are on your weight loss journey. Some of you, a couple months, six months, six years, anywhere along the way. So your goal might either be to maintain your weight loss, might be to lose any holiday weight, maybe a pouch reset if you have started gaining a little bit of weight, kind of re-examining that. Or if you're on your weight loss journey, maybe you want to optimize your weight loss and set some short-term goals along the way. So other resolution ideas. I kind of came up with these because, you know, you guys have a lot more energy. You want to fill your time doing some other things. So I thought some great ideas would be to volunteer. Um, volunteer at your kid's school volunteer at a animal shelter. That would be what I would like to do if I wasn't allergic to cats and dogs, but uh, volunteer at a homeless shelter. You know, give your time back. Um, you know, when we're trying to keep ourselves busy and energetic and active, it's, it's a really easy way to, to do that. Um, or read more. I had a friend who, one of her New Year's resolutions was to read a book a month. And she had it planned out that each month it was a different category of books. You know, nonfiction, fiction, biography. She did her research, looked at a whole bunch of lists online, and she plugged in which book she was going to read one a month for the year. I kind of thought that was fun. Um, spend more time with friends and family. We can all do that. We can all put our social media, well, sorry, not getting put our social media away, put our phone away. <laughs> spend more time with friends and family. You know, a goal could be once a week, I'm gonna to touch base with somebody who I haven't talked to in a while, whether that's a phone call, an email, something like that. Um, declutter, this one is great. Um, decluttering makes you feel really good. Getting rid of maybe your clothes that you don't wear anymore, that feels great. Um, I actually, this was one that I'm gonna try and do this year, and I've got it planned out that once a week, I've got a closet that I'm gonna go through and clean out and empty. And I've got a plan and I hope I stick to it so um, detoxify I have another friend who did this 
and once a month she took toxins out of her life. Um, different toxins out each month. So one month it was beauty products, one month it was cleaning products, one month she had she certain plants that she put out throughout her, her home um, to help detoxify. Um, she came up with a plan and she posted it and posted the product she was using. It was pretty, pretty great. But if you like to travel, that could be your New Year's resolution to maybe travel. If you've always talked about doing it, maybe make a plan and actually do it. Learn something new. This could be learn how to dance, learn a new language, learn something. Um, decrease screen time. That can be somebody's goal. Um, that should be my children's goal that's for sure. Um, get more sleep. Research shows that sleep is super beneficial for many health benefits, um, especially with helping you to not gain weight. Sleep is very, very important. So if you make the goal of maybe going to bed at a certain time, five out of seven days during the week, if you make that goal, you'll actually do it. And then maybe drink less. You know, it's been the holidays and some of us maybe have engaged in drinking a little bit more and know that maybe that's probably not the best choice for us. So maybe the goal could be to drink less and come up with a plan to do that. Drink less um, alcohol. Drink less alcohol, sorry. Keep drinking your at least 64 ounces of fluid every day. Um, what other ideas do you guys have? Anybody have New Year's resolutions that they've actually already set and are working towards or have been thinking about or were sitting here and said, that's what I'm doing? Anybody, anybody? Yes, Megan. I have just two sidebars a little bit um, yeah. for the decluttering. I saw this thing on Facebook where sometimes it's hard to go through one whole closet and get rid of like 30 items of clothing. It's a little overwhelming where they got rid of one clothing item every single day of the month. So just kind of brought it down a level so it's not so overwhelming. And then for learning something new, we just put a new blog post up on our website with a whole bunch of like different activities and hobbies that don't have to do with food. So that's underneath our website, underneath our blog. So if you're looking for something like that. That's awesome. Anybody else? Vacation, you wanna go on vacation? Yeah. Great. Your what, what, what? Your health goals. Fireworks at the 